welcome back to this channel so in today's class we want to study polynomials and the general form of polynomial takes the form of a subscript n multiplied by x raised to the power n plus a subscript n minus 1 multiplied by x raised to the power n minus 1 plus dot 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 plus a subscript 2 multiply by x raised to the power 2 plus a subscript 1 multiply by x raised to the power 1 plus a subscript 0 multiply by x raised to the power 0 and recall or remember recall that any number raised to the power of 1 is still that number and any number raised to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So this polynomial can now be written as a subscript n multiplied by x raised to the power n plus a subscript n minus 1 multiplied by x raised to the power n minus 1 plus dot 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 plus a subscript 2 multiplied by x raised to the power 2 plus a subscript 1 multiply by x plus a subscript 0 where a subscript n a subscript n minus 1 a subscript 2 a subscript 1 and a subscript 0 are the numerical constants And a subscript 0 must not be equal to 0. Also, these numerical constants are the coefficients of a re x raised to the power n, x raised to the power n minus 1, x raised to the power 2, x raised to the power 1, respectively. So you have to understand those ones. So examples of polynomials are... So, P of X is equal to 3X raised to the power 4 minus 2X raised to the power 2 plus 1. So, let's call this one P1. Then P2 of X is equal to 5X raised to the power 3 plus x raised to the power 2 plus x plus 5. C, p subscript 3 of x is equal to 7x raised to the power 8 plus 6x raised to the power 5 plus x raised to the power 3 minus x raised to the power 2 plus 10 and so on so if you see some examples like this f prime of x is equal to square root of x squared minus x plus 8 this one is not a polynomial it's not a polynomial because of the square roots so we have another one Prime of 2 multiplied by x is equal to, let's say we have x raised to the power 5 minus x raised to the power 3 minus 2 over x minus 1. It is not also a polynomial. Also, if we have f, f subscript 3 of x is equal to, let's say we have x squared minus 1 raised to the power minus 1 is not also a polynomial. So you have to take notes. Now, equality of polynomial.
Okay, so two polynomials are said to be equal if they, their coefficients are equal. For example, if we have p of x to be equal to a subscript n x raised to power n plus a subscript n minus 1 x raised to power n minus 1 plus, da, da, plus a subscript 2 x raised to power 2 plus a subscript 1 x plus a naught and we have q of x to be equal to b subscript n multiply by x is power n plus b subscript n minus 1 x multiply by n raised power n minus 1 plus plus b subscript 2 multiply by x raised power 2 plus b subscript 1 multiply by x plus b subscript 0 now we can now see that p of x is equal to q of x if and only if a subscript n is equal to b subscript n also a subscript n minus 1 is equal to b subscript n minus 1 and a subscript 2 is equal to b subscript 2 and a subscript 1 is equal to b subscript 1 and a subscript 0 is equal to b subscript 0. So that is when we can say that they are equal to each other. Addition and subtraction of polynomials. Addition and subtraction can be performed on polynomials. So addition of polynomials. So for example, if we have p of x equal to 3x raised to power 4 minus x raised to power 3 plus 5x minus 1. And we have P F Q of X to be equal to 7x raised to the power 4 minus 6x plus 2. And we are asked to find P of X plus Q of X. Now, solution is that we just had those with the same power. You had them together, then this other one with the same power you had them together so we have 3x raised power 4 minus x raised power 3 plus 5x minus 1 plus 7x raised power 4 minus 6x plus 2 then we have to collect like terms so 3 x raised power 4 minus x raised power 3 plus 5x minus 1 plus let's expand first 7x raised power 4 minus 6x plus 2 is equal to so let's collect like terms now so 3x raised power 4 then plus 7x raised power 4 minus x raised power 3. Do not have another x raised power 3, so you yeah, will leave that one. Plus 5x, then minus 6x minus 1 plus 2. Equal to, so let's add their coefficient together. So 3 plus 7. Then x raised power 4. So minus x raised power 3. Then plus here 5 minus 6 multiplied by x. Then minus 1 plus 2 is equal to plus 1. So p of x plus q of x is equal to 10 x raised to power 4 minus x raised to power 3 5 minus 6 minus 1 so minus x plus 1 and that is the answer so another example example 2 
if we have p1 of x to be equal to 5x raised to power 7 minus 4x plus 1 and p of p subscript 2 of x is equal to 6x raised to power 7 minus x raised to power 6 plus 2x raised to power 2 minus 3x plus 8. So p subscript 1 of x plus p subscript 2 of x be equal to 5x raised to power 7 minus 4x plus 1 close open brackets because of this sign 6x raised to the power 7 minus x raised to the power 6 plus 2x squared minus 3x plus 8 so is equal to 5x raised to the power 7 minus 4x plus 1 so let's expand plus 6x raised to the power 7 minus x raised to the power 6 plus 2x raised power 2 minus 3x plus 8. Now collect like terms now. 5x raised power 7 plus 6x raised power 7 then minus x raised power 6 followed by plus 2x squared then minus 4x minus 3x plus 1 plus 8. So you have to be careful. So is equal to 5 plus 6 x raised to power 7 minus x raised to power 6 plus 2x squared then minus 4 minus 3 multiply by x plus 9 so we have 11 x raised to power 7 minus x raised to power 6 plus 2 x squared minus 7 x plus 9 so that is how to go about addition of polynomials so sub subtraction now Subtraction of polynomials. So P subscript 1 of X is equal to 5X raised to power 4 minus 2X raised to power 3 plus 5X raised to power 2 plus 8. P subscript 2 of X is equal to x raised to power 4 plus 3 x raised to power 3 minus 4 x raised to power 2 plus x plus 6. So find p1 of x minus p2 of x. Solution. Now, P of X, P1 of X minus P2 of X be equal to, write the whole of P1 of X for 5 multiplied by X raised to power 4 minus 2 X cubed plus 5 X squared plus 8 then minus x raised to power 4 plus 3 x raised to power 3 minus 4 x squared plus x plus 6 so let's expand now so we have 5 x raised to power 4 minus 2 x raised to power 3 plus 5 x raised to power 2 
plus 8. Then you use this minus to multiply everything inside the second bracket. So we have minus x raised power 4 minus 3 x raised power 3 minus times minus plus 4 x raised power 2 minus x minus 6. So let's collect like times now. So 5 x raised power 4. So let's look for x raised power 4. So minus x raised power 4. Then followed by minus 2 x raised power 3. Do we have another 3 x raised power 3? Minus 3 x raised power 3. Followed by plus 5 x raised power 2. Then plus 4 x raised power 2. Then minus x plus 8 minus 6. So you have to be careful on this part of our subtraction because of the sign. So 5 x raised power 4 minus x raised power 4 gives 4 x raised power 4 minus 2 x raised power 3 minus 3 x raised power 3 gives minus 5 x raised to power 3 plus 5 x raised to power 2 plus 4 x raised to power 2 gives plus 9 x raised to power 2 then minus x do not have partner so we write minus x plus 8 minus 6 gives plus 2 so p1 of x minus p2 of x is equal to 4 x raised to power 4 minus 5 x raised to power 3 plus 9 x raised to power 2 minus x plus 2. So that is that. So another example we have p of x be equal to 8 x raised to power 7 minus x plus 3 and we have q of x be equal to 7 x raised power 7 minus 3 x raised power 4 plus 5 x minus 7 so find p of x minus q of x so you do it like this p of x minus q of x be equal to you write those one for p of x first so 8 x raised power 7 minus x plus 3 and close it in the brackets then put the sign or the minus sign there then enclose all the algebra for Q also. Enclose them in the brackets. So 7x raised power 7 minus 3x raised power 4 plus 5x minus 7. Now we need to expand now. 8x raised power 7 minus x plus 3. Minus multiplied by plus a uh, seven x raised power seven gives minus seven x raised power seven. So minus multiplied by minus three x raised power four gives plus three x raised power four. Minus multiplied by minus five x give gives plus five x. Minus multiplied by minus seven gives plus seven. So is equal to now we need to collect like terms now. 8x raised power 7. So minus 7x raised power 7. Then followed by plus 3x raised power 4. Then minus x plus 5x. Then plus 3 plus 7. We have x raised power 7, then plus 3x raised power 4, 
Then minus x plus 5x gives plus 4x, then plus 10. You can see it's very simple. Very, very simple to do. So just make sure you practice everything. Power of polynomials. Scalar is also known as multiplier. So if we have p of x to be equal to 3x squared minus x plus 1. And you have another figure that is multiplying this polynomial of x. So you can now say that these two, you use it to multiply everything here. 3x squared minus x plus 1. So that is clearer of polynomial. So 2 multiplied by 6x squared gives 6x squared. Then 2 multiplied by minus x gives minus 2x. 2 multiplied by plus 1 gives plus 2. So 2px gives 6x squared minus 2x plus 2. But two. So if Q of X is equal to five X raised to the power four minus two X raised to the power three plus five X plus two and we find three Q of X. So, 3q of x be equal to 3 multiplied by 5x raised to the power 4 minus 2x raised to the power 3 plus 5x plus 2. So, is equal to 15x raised to the power 4 minus 6x raised to the power 3 plus 15x plus 6. So that is how to do the scalar or multiplier of polynomials. So all these scalar or multipliers of polynomials, you can see them in addition, subtraction, division, or multiplication. So you can have P of X be equal to 2X minus 1. And 2 P, um, let's say we have P1, P2 of X to be equal to 3X raised to the power 4 minus 2X raised to the power 3 minus X plus 5. And we ask you to find P1 of X plus 2P2 of X. So you can easily do this one, like this. So you have known P1 of X. So we need to find 2P subscript 2 of X, which will be equal to 2 multiplied by 3X raised to the power 4 minus 2X raised to the power 3 minus X plus 3. So 2 P2 of x will now be equal to 6x raised to the power 4 minus 4x raised to the power 3 minus 2x then plus 6. So P1 of x plus 2P2 of x will now be equal to, right? P1 of x is 2x minus 1. And close it in the bracket plus we write this one 6x raised to the power 4 minus 4x raised to the power 3 minus 2x plus 6. Then you expand 2x minus 1 plus 6x raised to the power 4 minus 4x raised to the power 3 minus 2x plus 6. Collect like terms so. 2x then minus 2x then minus 1 plus 6 plus 6 x raised to the power 4 minus 4 x raised to the power 3. 
So 2x minus 2x gives 0. So minus 1 plus 5 and plus 6 gives 5. So plus 6x raised to the power 4 minus 4x raised to the power 3. So rearrange now. Rearranging gives 6x raised to the power 4 minus 4x raised to the power 3 plus 5. So P1 of x plus 2P2 of x is equal to 6x raised to the power 4 minus 4x raised to the power 3 plus 5. Also, you can be given P1 of x minus, okay, let's say 3P1 of x minus P2 of x. So, it's the same thing. This is example 2. Example 2. So, 3P1 of x will be equal to 3 multiplied by 2x minus 1. So, 3p1 of x will be equal to 6x minus 3. Then, 3p1 of x minus p2 of x will now be equal to 6x minus 3. Then, minus, then enclose the p2 of a p2 of x in the bracket also so p2 is a 3 x raised to the power 4 minus 2 x raised to the power 3 minus x plus 5 then you expand so expanding gives 6 x minus 3 minus multiply by 3 x raised to the power 4 gives minus 3 x raised to the power 4 minus multiply by minus 2x raised to the power 3 gives plus 2x raised to the power 3 minus multiply by minus x gives plus x minus multiply by plus 5 gives minus 5 then collect like terms so 6x then plus x minus 3x raised to the power 4 plus 2x raised to the power 3, then minus 3, minus 5. Yes, is equal to 7x minus 3x raised to the power 4, plus 2x raised to the power 3, minus 8. So, 3p1 of x minus p2 of x will now be equal to, let's rearrange them. So, minus 3x raised to the power 4 plus 2x raised to the power 3 plus 7x minus 8. So that is the answer. So thank you for stopping by. So in the next class, we are going to do multiplication and division of polynomials. So thank you. God bless you. Till I see you in the next class. Bye-bye.